briefly have a closer look at pulsations due to the reciprocating equipment. We'll first discuss how periodic excitation is represented in the frequency domain. The left plot shows the pressure profile at the head end of the cylinder in the pump. As shown in part 1 of this lecture, it is a periodic changing signal. This pressure peak is repeated over and over as the piston moves back and forth. A nice thing about periodic signals is that they can be decomposed into the frequency domain by stating that the signal is a combination of an infinite number of sine waves. The resulting decomposition in the frequency domain is shown on the right. The signal in this example is periodically with a frequency of 35 Hz. This lowest frequency present in our signal is called the base frequency. This frequency is directly related to the RPM of your pump. However, the signal on the left does not look like a perfect sign, merely a deformed peak. So a combination of sine waves at higher frequencies is needed to reconstruct this time signal. Therefore, there are higher frequencies.